Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration having our own conversation with God and learning that in this conversation with Him, we know that our God is trustworthy. And so, to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may, by His likeness to ourselves, bring us reconciliation, and by His equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, He rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit He saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all, the Lord delivers them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Oh, 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to Him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We see today, my dear brothers and sisters, from our Gospel reading, the conclusion of the conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus. For the past days, we have been following their uh, deep conversation with each other. And today, Jesus concludes this conversation with him. And in this conclusion by Jesus, we see that in that conversation, Jesus is not just imparting his words, but in fact, Jesus was imparting already the blessings and the graces coming from the Father, His begotten Son, and the Spirit. Yun pong pag-uusap nila ni Nicodemo. Makikita po natin sa pagtatapos ng kanilang pag-uusap ngayon ay hindi lamang po palitan ng salita. Kundi ang kanilang pag-uusap ay naging palitan ng kanilang mga sarili. Si Jesus ibinibigay ang biyaya ng Ama, ang pagmamahal ng Ama sa Kanya, at ang mga biyaya ng Espiritu Santo. My dear brothers and sisters, maybe this is the opportune time, the right time, to have also our conversation with Jesus. Like how Nicodemus conversed with Jesus, let us also have our fruitful conversation with Jesus. And this is not just a conversation transferring words among each other, but this is a conversation exchanging persons ang pag-uusap po na ang pakikipag-usap po natin kay Jesus ay hindi lamang po ordinaryong pakikipag-usap palitan ng salita. Hindi lamang tayo nagsasalita kay Jesus at siya rin, hindi lang siya nangungusap sa atin bagkus sa pakikipag-usap natin ay nagkakaroon ng palitan ng mga sarili. Parang sinasabi kong ang aking sarili sa pakikipag-usap sa iyo, Jesus, ay binubuksan ko 
para sa iyo. At gayon din naman, kapag tayo'y nakikipag-usap kay Jesus, si Jesus naman ay binubuksan niya ang kanyang sarili at ibinabahagi sa atin ang pagmamahal ng Ama sa Kanya at ang nag-uumapaw na biyaya ng Espiritu Santo. That is why, in our Gospel reading, Jesus teaches Nicodemus that whoever accepts the testimony of Jesus certifies that God is trustworthy. Kapag tayo ay nakipag-usap kay Jesus at ang pakikipag-usap na ito ay ang pagkakakilala natin sa bawat isa, sabi ni Jesus, hindi ka lamang matututo sa pakikipag-usap sa akin kung hindi malalaman mo rin na ang Diyos ay mapagkakatiwalaan. That is how deep their conversation was. Nicodemus did not just learn something, but he was able to trust in God. My dear brothers and sisters, maybe this is a beautiful time to have a good and deep conversation with Jesus. Especially that we are undergoing a crisis. We are undergoing this pandemic. Many of us are tired. Many of us are suffering. Many of us are anxious and fearful. This is the time that you have to have this conversation with Jesus. And when we converse with Jesus, we will realize that He is opening the grace, the love of the Father, and the grace of the Spirit to us so that in the end, after this conversation with Jesus, we will be able to say, God, is indeed trustworthy. I will believe in His words. This is the example that we hear from our first reading today. When the apostles were arrested and in front of the court, in front of the high priest and the council of the Sanhedrin, in front of all the authorities at that time, they were able to proclaim, we must obey God rather than men. Hinarap sila sa korte, hinarap sila sa mga pinakamatataas na kapangyarihan, pero hindi sila natakot at ang sabi nila, ang susundin damin ay hindi salita ng tao lamang, kundi salita ng Diyos. Paano kaya nila nasabi yun? How were they able to proclaim even in front of authorities that they need to obey God, the Word of God, rather than the Word of men? Because these apostles were able to converse deeply with Jesus and they are convinced that only the Word of God is trustworthy. Mapagkakatiwalaan ang salita ng Diyos. Kaya ang mga alagad, kahit na iharap sila sa korte pa man, masasabi nilang, Diyos lang, salita lamang ng Diyos ang mapagkakatiwalaan. My dear brothers and sisters, today, let us have a deep and fruitful conversation with Jesus and realize that when we are conversing with Him, we are not just talking to Him, we are not just exchanging words, we are exchanging selves. We open our person to Jesus in conversation and Jesus opens the love of the Father and the grace of the Spirit to us. And after a deep and fruitful conversation, 
we are able to say, You, God, indeed, your words indeed are trustworthy. Amen. We who received the divine life of Jesus are called to live fully in accordance with his teachings. For every petition, let us say, Lord, pour out your Spirit. Lord, pour out your Spirit. That the Church, through its leaders, may take up with courage the challenge of constant conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pour out your Spirit. That the state may be committed in its effort to bring quality services to the citizenry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pour out your Spirit. That we may never close our hearts to those in need, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pour out your Spirit. That all who are struck with incurable disease may be strengthened in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pour out your Spirit. That the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pour out your Spirit. Father, your only Son took on human life in order to share your divine life with us. Grant us faith to believe firmly in Him so that we may always live responsibly as your children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life 
and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us. Disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheney. Thank you.